yeah good morning everyone so uh, today i will be taking up uh, uh, relationship manage uh, marketing okay so in this uh, yesterday i had uh, you know uh, your permission marketing as well as perceived value and uh, it also had a little bit of you know uh, what do you call uh, you know uh, permission uh, affiliate marketing as well as uh, experiential marketing so today we will be talking only about relationship marketing and see all these terms they may look uh, different they may appear different but all are interconnected permission is also when you are talking about permission marketing you are building up relationship when you are giving experiential marketing you are building relationship so there may be different terms but in all you basically have to maintain a very good relationship with your consumers right so relationship marketing is uh, you know uh, it focuses on customers loyalty so again you will say it is everywhere whether you go for experiential whether you go for uh, you know permission so you have to focus on customer loyalty and long term customer engagement rather than short term goals okay you don't have to acquire a customers and do any one individual sales because that individual sale is not going to build a long term relationship but because you have to take it forward take it for you know decades and decades so that they those people and generation they come back to you okay the goal of relationship marketing is to create strong emotional bond customer connection with the brand so that there is an ongoing business between the uh, you know you are able to provide ongoing business to them okay and those uh, consumers in turn they can do they will with you know free will with full heartedness they will do your word of mouth publicity also they will do promotion because they have a long relation with you okay so they can also generate some good leads for you all right relationship marketing is opposite to that of you know traditional transactional marketing approach because traditional marketing approach it focuses on increasing the number of individual sales whereas relationship it is not that way it doesn't work that way here you know without a strong relationship marketing strategy the customer may not come back to that brand in the future he may give you a very good individual uh, lead but then that person has to come back that is called relationship anybody comes back to you because of your relationship that you have maintained with that person or with an with a consumer okay and when uh, you know you are acquiring new customer it is very challenging it is not an easy task it is very costly also so what we can do is we can retain the customers we already have by maintaining good relationship with them so that they come back to us okay and this generates customer loyalty okay now relationship market uh, you know uh, work with in close contact with the customers you are keeping a watch over them you are constantly you know um, getting in touch with them uh, you try to understand how you know they use your brand products how they perceive your services and you observe additional uh, requirement that they have they may have some requirement they have may have something that is missing in your brand but if you keep a close watch over them you will be able to understand their unmet unmet needs that are there which they may voice it out which may no may you know tell you very subtly okay so brands can create new features according to their new uh, uh, demands that they have okay unsaid unasked for things sometime you know you you are so loyal to somebody you may not ask you are loyal to brand because of many other factor but there is something that is missing but they will they if they voice it out you have to take care of that okay and then add new features in your product and offer new things okay so that you can strengthen your relationship further you because you don't want to lose them they are your customer they are your you are in relationship with them okay so relationship marketing is um, also based on the 
tenets of customer uh, experience management what they experience so you have fo- you have to focus on improving customers interaction so that you can foster better brand lo- loyalty right so uh, nowadays we know uh, all of these relationship uh, customer cem which is called customer experience management this is uh, taken care by the internet by the digital media sorry 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 i don't know where's the pen where's my pen one second one second one second what's happening so here we go okay so cem means i did talk about two terms which were very important for you to understand crm and cem okay crm means customer relationship management whereas cem means customer experience management so they go hand in hand okay customer relationship management and customer experience management and all these are taken care with the help of digital media nowadays digital marketing internet earlier it was a big task nowadays it has become really automated and easy and your uh, you know uh, bre- uh, base is also um, you know become many many time more than the previous because you had no idea who are interested because now you have understood what is permission marketing what is experiential marketing what now we are getting into relationship marketing since you have already taken permission from certain you know consumers you have to now work on keeping that relationship alive by offering them whatever new is uh, being launched by your brand or whatever is their requirement what ca- you know for that matter you can send a questionnaire what are the things that you are interested in apart from what we are offering so customers will come up with their requirement whatever that they feel that is missing in that service or the product all right so this is and also an experience what do they want to experience more in your brand all right so you know today relationship marketing involves creating easy two way communication between customer and the business tracking customers activity providing the, them information based on those activities right so e-commerce site you know as it is i have told you the same thing they 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 track the consumers activity by allowing them to create a profile so that their information is conveniently saved and they can use it for future right not only it helps the customer they can easily uh, visit the their e-commerce site because their uh, information is saved they don't have to remember each and every password and login id and all it also helps the companies because they have a database which is ready now they know these are their target consumers we have to build keep that relationship alive okay and so that the site can push more information to them next time in case they are coming up with something new or new discount or any activities or even that is coming up okay so site visitor um uh, sometime you know they also give you the freedom nowadays it has become so easy in stuff in stuff say you can log into those brands and then facebook also you know you can sign in through pace facebook or under any other social media channel you know this allows them simple user experience unko difficulty nahi hota hai you know and what they gain they basically you know uh connect to the brand social media presence dono ka fine it's a win win situation for both of them consumer as well as as a brand manager you also know your customers okay but you have to keep a tab on each and every activity and that is also done automatically you don't have to you know just first work on one aspect you know crm as i said uh the, you know this is this is where you know C, crm and marketing automation software can support you know 
uh, so that is why if you are into anything you have to be very well versed with the internet uses digital marketing automation tools so side by side you may be having different uh, you know uh, subjects which deals with this seo and uh, you know there are so many things there are so many aspects so keep on updating yourself so that you can incorporate them in your day to day use so that what is your goal basically to get the broad customer base who are ready to spend on your products and services okay so you want to uh, automated tools you know they record they track and act on customer information immediately they will get the response you don't have to personally do that so social crm tools they go further by helping to extend relationship marketing into the social media sphere they allow companies to more easily monitor and respond to customers need customers issues okay and this in term helps the definitely in terms it helps you to create a better brand image right so let's uh, look at this uh, figure relationship marketing is like you have it is it's not that quality which is a different thing marketing is a different thing and customer they are all interconnected customer service is also linked with quality and it's also linked with marketing quality is linked with marketing and customer service marketing is linked with quality and customer service they cannot go separate they are working uh, you know hand in hand they are all interconnected relationship market is it is all about sending marketing uh, and ha having a constant curve customer service with the with your end user who is the consumer okay now let's talk about what are the benefits of relationship marketing definitely there are the when you have a good relationship you have higher customer lifetime value which is called clv let me change the ink color so that you will be able to see what i write here okay now that means you have better clv clv means customer lifetime value all right so relate relationship marketing that definitely creates customers who have who are having lifetime value loyal customers which leads to repeat purchases it is not individual eight time buy kiya and then you are done no you want them them again and again okay because in addition loyal customers they become your brand and ambassador because you have they are getting so much from you they will you know without any effort they will become your brand ambassador they will advocate your brand to their friends family and relatives they will recommend your products because you have given them such good service that means lifetime value all right next uh, benefit is reduction in marketing and advertising definitely when you are spending you are not spending money they are already your customer you are investing some time and time to time intervention with their them so that they remain with you and that gives the edge once they are with you you will not have to spend much money on marketing new strategies because they will do it for you all right relationship marketing causes customer to do the marketing for a brand and we do it we all do it aren't you aware of the fact that if your friend ask i am going to buy a shoe i think i want to definitely without any effort your friend will say oh boy boy go and buy adidas or you go and buy nike i bought this shoe that they are doing the brand marketing for you for the for the company without being getting paid right because of the relationship that has come that has been maintained through the years okay customers tell others about brands product and services you know which can drive 
more sales right so next point is stronger organizational alignment around the customers now organization that emphasizes on relationship marketing definitely they have a stronger alignment around the customers the team works together to create satisfied and happy customers over the long term okay now we will be looking at some examples of relationship marketing all right now first is customer service it's very important excellent customer service as I, in my previous slide also you must have seen now this see customer service marketing and quality so we are going to talk about it here also see exceptional customer service you know will give you a good relation it will make a relationship very worthwhile it will become like you don't have to work hard your customer service is good relationship is built there and then only so customers who are impressed by the brand's customer service are more likely to remain loyal to the brand if the customer service is not good they will definitely switch over to any other brand one second okay so thankfulness you always have to thank the customer for their feedback for the purchase of the product for anything they do okay one second hello hello yes hello haan ji bolye uh, akshay baat kar raha tha sorry akshay is time pe mere na college ka lecture chal raha hai मैं आपको थोड़ी देर में बात करती हूँ ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सो यू हैव टू बी थैंकफुल टू योर कस्टमर्स थ्रू अ सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट और विद अ सरप्राइज गिफ्ट कार्ड और एनीथिंग यू यू नो फॉर एग्जांपल बाय जूस का आई एम गिविंग यू लाइव एग्जांपल्स बिकॉज आई सी माय नेव्यू हु इज बॉट अ बाई जूस यू नो ऐप and he studies from there so constantly they want to build a relationship with the child they know the child psychology so every year at least five or six times in a year you know they send some first is their birthday birthday of a child they send a uh, you know a toy or a card and a water bottle or a bag or something like that they keep on doing that because they want to touch base with the child they want to keep on reminding that don't leave by juice because we care for you we are thanking you thanksgiving day pe also they sent a thank you note along with a small gift it doesn't cost much but child becomes very happy and it doesn't want to leave by juice all right of course the product is one, on one side but building relationship with the child and understanding the psychology of a child what does a child need basically they are interested in good you know toys water bags notebooks bags pencils or you know calculator or a watch or something so they keep that thing they keep on thanking the child that you are taking even after providing so many gifts and all they thank the child so that's a very good approach okay on an or any other not only by juice i just had yesterday i saw that is why i'm just giving you an example this is also building of a relationship all right now there are so many companies even if you go to lawrence and mayo or any other company they take your anniversary they take care of your you know they they try to feed in your date of birth and during your date of birth month that month they will tell you that you will have a a special discount offer because it is your birthday month so they are trying to build a good relationship with you what else you are being pampered by a brand it's your birthday month if you go and for example website they take care of your anniversaries they take care of your uh, birthdays and they call you ma'am this is your birthday month so we want to offer you 60% or 40% or 20% whatsoever at least you are you feel as it is your if it is your anniversary or birthday you have to go and buy something 
but if a brand is giving you a discount just because it is your birthday month you will definitely pick up things from there right so then comes the solicitors customer feedback through survey polls or phone calls which can create a positive impression that customer opinions are valued they are taken care because they help to create better products and better services right then then comes the loyalty program you uh, as a uh, as a brand manager you we can come up with so many loyalty programs that rewards the customer for their continued patronage because otherwise for example um for example i went and bought a uh, spectacles from lawrence and mayo okay now uh, they they have a loyalty program once there is a discount and you know they send an email that there there is 70% discount on this product and specially we have reserved it for you so that you come and have a look and then we can keep it for you know sale for public don't you feel privileged by that gesture because if they for example oakley's ka jo ek sunglasses hota hai that is 10000 rupees ka sunglasses i i was eyeing that sunglasses for years like i how why should i buy 10000 ka oakley sunglasses whereas the 10000 mein to mera pura ghar ka kharcha chalta hai but i have that desire in me okay now those people they saw that i wanted to buy but i'm not buying so they kept that thing in their mind they keep a note of everything don't underestimate that they don't note they have their feedback they have their they have your history once those people had 80% uh, you know discount on that sunglasses they called me they said ma'am now these these glasses that you were really interested in now they are for 2000 rupees would you be interested uh, before we make it a public discount so that anybody who comes in can take it away see oakley's ka glasses are such an exceptional glasses and glasses that anybody would be interested in in case koi 10000 ka cheez aapko 2000 mein milega but they valued me they knew ki this person is interested before making it public they told me so this is how they built a relationship and lawrence and mayo you won't you, many of you won't even know but since they had maintained a, i have maintained a relationship from past 20 years so 20 30 years so they call me for anything i go there even if i'm sitting here in right now in chandigarh and i said my specs are broken i need my glasses they had the record of each and every you know my new uh, what is my vision you know what is the defect in my vision whether it is 2.5 or myopia or hydro they had the record but i said no it's not that you uh, my numbers have changed i think they said okay get it tested and send it to us we'll send those glasses right away to chandigarh incurring ex- they were able to bear they said we'll bear the cost of you know sending don't worry so this is how you build a relationship will i go to anybody else after such you know so much of pampering and so much of you know uh, understanding that they, they are taken care of me so nicely so this is called uh loyalty program okay like i am indebted to them then next is hold customers event to connect with the customers and build a community that i have already told you so many brands they do it coca cola does it then hogs does it you know harley davidson bikes and all so create customers advocacy or brand advocacy program and then reward your customer okay reward your customers who give you word of my mouth referrals or something like if you you have to just tell your customers in case you will you uh, you refer somebody and that person tells your name or your customer id you will be rewarded so that is called a referral program and so many of the you know uh, companies that do it i'll give you an example here live example from mumbai Exerbia is a property uh, real estate business group okay and 5 uh, years back uh, uh, me and my husband we bought a flat in pune okay they see flat is something a very big uh, you know investment it's not a small investment but still they said uh, now since you have bought you will be talking to your relatives and friend that you have bought a flat in pune 
so in and you will be showing so in case anybody gets interested in buying the same property you just have to hand over the that number or ref uh, you know tell tell us that this is the person who is interested in buying the property and you will get so and so you know discount so what's the harm in that means i am becoming they are giving me discount just because my relatives or friends are also interested in buying the same property who does it nobody does it right then you offer discounts or bonuses to long time repeat customers all right so these are some uh, examples of relationship marketing now there are some corporate examples which i can give you like ikea ka what do they do ikea is a i don't know what why my pen is not working properly ikea okay so it's a swedish furniture company i told you that they have opened a store in hyderabad first first store was open in hyderabad and then they opened one store in navi mumbai and now they have opened one more store in uh, parel area okay so they are swedish furniture company and they have a worldwide base okay they are not small they have their outlet every corner of the world it is india who has just come opened its you know door to ikea <coughs> so rather you know ikea lovers when the company changed the font you know ikea ka jo font tha na how this ikea is written the companies after some time they wanted to change the font so when they changed the font jo ikea lovers the jo loyal customers the ikea ke they did not like it and they started uh, you know uh, sending them emails that we are not liking we like the old font so rather than you know getting into dispute with the customers or ignoring their taste they switched back to their previous font which was liked by the customers okay so they they change the font again in the catalog so here is one more example that happened recently in india like fab india they had uh, uh, they aired an advertisement on the social media and the t- television also uh, regarding some eid ka you know it was on diwali occasion but when customers though customers uh, you know were getting biased towards like hindu muslim and all they were getting into that but still they cared for them and they stopped airing that ad and they changed it a little bit so basically what you are creating you are you are re- keeping the relationship alive otherwise what would have happened all the fab india customers who were not liking the that advertisement they may would have drifted away from fab, fab india isn't it so they wanted to maintain the relationship without hurting anybody they changed it a bit okay now direct recruitment there is something called uh, there is a no sorry this american airlines okay this one more example that is given here is american airline okay uh, now that airlines maintains a you know a very comprehensive flyer program that rewards the customer loyalty with the promise of free flight upgrades upgrades from uh, economic class to business class and offering discounts so these are the things that they did and on the same basis jet airways always had been doing it because i was a frequent flyer from jet airways so i know that they used to send me you have earned this much miles from jet airways now after one year when i have earned lot of mile my husband also so when they we earned lot of miles so one of the flight uh, of this much you know uh, price or this much miles would be free to you who wouldn't like that and that you can avail any moment in the coming year so you are given so much of ease like you don't have to choose right now you are given one year wherever you want to choose that flight that flight will be free you know what happened my husband took it uh, took that flight for dubai so this is how they had built relationship isn't it so then uh, there's a company called dell laptop okay so see i am also using dell laptop while i'm giving you lecture so dell computers also created a special online stores for high volume corporate customers they made it uh, you know tailor made program a specific usage ke liye but you know uh, dell was able to 
expedite many of the hassle corporate technology buyer they face okay so they did it for them ki ye add kar denge will minus this will add this so they were giving and they had good business because when you are dealing with corporate and you are looking taking care of their needs rather than selling what you want to sell so definitely you will be able to sell large volumes right and you have also um customize those dell uh, uh, computers for that company so at least utna business aapko mil gaya you don't have to do it for everybody but that was specifically done for that company okay so you have increased customers loyalty that company now will never go to anybody else in case they have another requirement they will ask you they know that they, they you will be doing it for them isn't it so these are the uh a different examples of relationship marketing okay now here is the picture that you see okay my class will be till what time i think when i was to do take the class at 12 it was till 12 15 so i still have time 15 more minutes so i will be able to i'm sure okay next pricing strategy maybe in the next chapter i'll take that in the next chapter now you know in the modern time you know relationship marketing is also divided into many many aspects like influencer i'll write it here because i have not made the slide for influence and uh, affiliate marketing pardon me for that but okay so relationship marketing is also what happened okay influencer marketing then you also have partner marketing all right and then you also have employee advocacy the employee advocacy okay it is already there why i am writing it <laughs> okay it's already there okay so affiliate marketing what is an affiliate marketing uh you must have seen that on facebook on insta on youtube if you are you know you have bought something and you send the, you know just paste the link from where you have bought and if anybody looks at that thing and they go and buy something so they also get the you know some percentage of the uh, money that is uh, used for buying okay a transaction between a company and an entity with a passive financially driven relationship where the business receives customers or leads in exchange for monetary incentive for example if somebody has a youtube channel on um, on makeup or or hair tutorials or something or for example somebody wants to go for hair rebonding or curly hair routine or whatever that person is using certain products and showing uh, giving you a demo that this is to be done this way and is giving you the uh, leads also that these are the products i have bought from this site and the links are given in the description box mm -hmm. so what you will do you will definitely if you are interested in that whole process and you want to do it yourself what you will do you will go to the description box you will press on the link and in case you are interested you will buy the product also so what in uh, you know you will buy you will pay the full price okay but from whatever price that you have paid that person who has given you the link will also get some amount so this is called affiliate marketing that person has done marketing for the brand why because that was screen is not visible ma'am ha huh, that is what i was okay okay that is what i was saying ki main likhti ja rahi hu and then i saw for some time it was visible i'm so sorry ma'am aapka voice bhi bahut break ho raha hai ma'am iske liye okay okay one second maybe there is an internet issue in the morning also in morning lectures also i had faced the same thing let me change it to the hotspot one second ha huh? let me just reconnect it because in the morning lecture also i had the same issue today but it is 
it's connected the net is fine here i don't know whether i should switch to mobile hotspot or wifi pe to bahut acha dikh raha hai speed is it all right now maybe for before it was not well is it all right can you see the screen no ma'am no one second ha huh? i'll change it to the hotspot okay one second give me mm -mm. okay anyways uh, uh let me finish this chapter if you are not able to see i will send you the pdf of this okay hmm? okay so what uh, i was talking about i was talking about affiliate marketing and then there is a referral marketing which i have already told you employee advocacy where you know certain employees who are not part of marketing team but then they also generate positive expo uh, you know revenue by talking about their product so for that also what you will do this, this this is a kind of a self promotion okay of a business by its team to generate positive exposure and raise awareness for their brand so here also what you will do you will give some uh, you know credit to those types of employees who are working you know out of their uh, you know uh, doing extra work you know what out of their boundaries they go you know push the sales or something so do you have to really award those types of employees okay now influencer marketing means uh, where it is uh, again a type of uh, affiliate marketing where somebody who is on a very high status talks about like uh, something and uh, that i use this product and they are very good so that that they are trying to influence your say your you know buying thing buying interest so when they do it they when they do it it is called influencer marketing so uh, there are so many channels on youtube like technical guru ji and all when they where they tell you about the new products that are launched on you know mobiles and what are the new uh, applications or what are the new, whatever is new in technology they talk so they have made such a big database that so many people follow them so they are able to influence the sale also so that is called influencer marketing means getting in touch with those type of people who will really matter in you know in promoting your sales all right uh, you know there are so many brands uh, you know so many mobile phones they they talk to uh, that channel in technical guru ji and they tell you unbox our product because people see and you are able to influence them so they uh, they get paid for unboxing the product also but in the long term who benefits it is the brand who is benefiting definitely technical guruji and other there are so many other you know uh, youtube channel uh, youtube partners who are benefiting because they have a, a strong and big uh, you know uh, subscriber group they benefit in their terms and the brand also benefit on their in their regard so partnership partner marketing means you are paying commission dev it's a clear cut thing of commission or fee to companies such as distributor resellers agencies and other third party firms to promote your leads and sales all right so this was all about relationship marketing relationship marketing means creating positive brand awareness and growth for a business through understanding fostering and leveraging the relationships okay now uh i wanted to give you one example of uh, uh, relationship uh, marketing a very good example just give me one second and give me one more uh, minute because i want to go and check the uh, internet connection if you know 
I can do something about that because if you are not able to see the slides, there's no point of you know me going further with the same lecture. Yeah, for example, uh, there's a company which you know very well, Coca-Cola, you know, they they use this technique for for been long, long time, you know, they build up relationship, Coca-Cola advertises its, its uh, drink uh, with touching messages about family and friends, okay, the bottle themselves tell you that uh, you should share Coke with your someone special, same goes with the Cadbury's, okay, and you know, the consumer identify with these feelings so buying a coke becomes something more than uh, just buying a product you are it's more about building a, a relationship and what are the you know uh, example of uh, relationship uh, is for example uh, somebody goes to a hair stylist for six year and then returns to that hair stylist because they do a great job on the hair uh, but the repeated visit over the years also created a significant relationship between the two. I go to a particular hairdresser because of the relationship that has uh, that has been created, right? Though there are so many new saloons that have opened in my uh, vicinity, I would not go because I want to maintain the relationship. Unless that person is not uh, the person who is my hairdresser is not doing extra to keep the relationship i may switch over to the people who have come just now in my vicinity all right so this is how relationship is will keeping that relationship is more important because you never know there are so many competitors if you are not keeping the relationship with your uh, consumers with your customers you are more likely to lose out on them because there are so many new uh, uh, you know people who are coming into the business they keep on you know give uh, hammering or keep on you know uh, trying to tell the customers that you are they are offering discounts they are better than others so itna sab kuch hone mein, if you are not paying extra attention in maintaining the relationship you will lose your customer okay even if it is for six year or even if it is a 20 year old relationship okay so you have to nurture that nurture the relationship so that they come back to you no matter whatever is the uh, thing that is offered to them they know that you value them they value you okay now starbucks they use uh, you know these types of relationship marketing rel all all companies i told you lays also lays also does it so these are some best relationship ma marketing you know examples ikea ko to aapko already maine bata diya this has nothing to do with anything only by changing the font they want they kept a relationship alive with their customers all right now uh, you know I don't know whether you will be able to see the screen now or no I don't know but still I will try to write for those who are able to see see um, uh, there are five uh, phases of ha huh? pardon pardon not visible. not visible so I'm not writing okay but still uh, whatever is there I'm going to speak it up so there are you know basically five phases of relationship marketing strategy one is to attract the other is to connect attract connect and then coating coating you know all know what is coating keeping the connection alive then relationship and then it is called marriage okay so this all goes for a brand also though this is for 
making a relationship with somebody very special how do we do we all we when we are in our teens or whatever after teens after 20 when we try we want to attract the person with whom we want to spend the rest of our time we try to connect with them we court with them then there is a building of a relationship strong relationship and then ultimately marriage that means you will not go anywhere you have committed marriage means commitment so this is how in the brands also you will have the same uh, hierarchy attracting connecting courting relationship and then marriage okay now remember the purpose of using relationship development strategies in and marketing is to create is to have marriage that means commitment okay one of the ways you can do this is by you know uh, making it easier for them to shop with your brand you know creating loyalty program to ho gaya, asking for and listening to customers request and feedback bhi ho gaya. then sending birthday and holiday greeting bhi bataya maine aapko. then what next is sending corporate gifts to your customers this is what i missed in my previous uh, you know uh, lecture now implement omni channel marketing then creating omni channel means in everywhere like facebook bhi ho gaya, youtube bhi ho gaya, email bhi ho gaya, everywhere wherever you can you can do so implement omni channel marketing omni means everywhere okay now creating personalized communication that also i have taught you uh, like how it is done with use the use of nowadays whatsapp business account also does it personalized me message aa jata hai. they also pick up the name of the person uh, by uh, you know nowadays whatsapp is able to pick up the name of the person if you have fed the name uh, like Mona Bhatia on your WhatsApp. So it will automatically generate uh, if it is a business account, if I have sent a request uh, hi to that. So it automatically does it. How can we help you Mona Bhatia? So it's so personalized and automated response. Okay. Now next is simplifying your website and checkout process. Okay. Now how do brand major brand they use relationship marketing? See, relationship marketing is not a new concept. First of all, never think that everything is new. These are all old stuff, but given a new, uh, you know, name and all these things, because we have to study in management. We have to put everything in theory. But in earlier days also, people used to do all these things without, you know, keeping any, you know, uh, theory about it. Okay. Uh, it's not a new concept, but it's quickly becoming a priority for all the business types. Even Purane jo grocery shops, hote the, lales hote the, bathe hote the, they all used to maintain relationship with their you know customers. But it was on a very small level. Now you are entering big big brands, so you have to uh, you know just once you have to go through theory and then you will learn it practically also when you are uh, will be doing your internship and all. Okay, now there uh lays ka bataya ikea ka bataya now how do you implement an effective relationship marketing strategy that's very important uh first is first strategy number one is listen to your customers feedback and then make changes many just now iska example bataya if you remember that is ikea jase mohne bola na strategy number two is invest in technology this i didn't tell you earlier invest in technology that will help customer relationship management that is automated okay there are various tools on the market that you can use to deliver great customer experience you can use crm that is crm is customer relationship management software to manage customers personalize messages and maintain communication with them another option is uh, erp enterprise social resource management okay platform which will streamline your operation and eliminate all departmental silos okay then you can also opt for unorthodox tools like platform for sending branded swag and personalized gift that i already told you okay strategy number three is build an excellent customer service team very important very important to uh, have that team because invest your time and money into hiring and training your team to support your client bases needs and interest then uh, reward your customer then 
take an omni-channel approach. People today are used to engaging with brands in different ways. They may visit their website one day, then they reach out to the company via uh, Facebook or LinkedIn page next day. So make it convenient for your you know consumer to interact with you in all the channels as much as possible. This means that you are having your presence on the right social media channel everywhere. If they are looking uh, for, you know, you can also incorporate a chatbot. Chatbot, I am sure you will be aware of in, uh, you know, business accounts. They have that chatbot that takes care of them, their needs, their, uh, you don't have to personally, you know, write each and every answer. Chatbot is, will be, you, they understand the question, they will give you the, give the customers the answer on their own. And in case the chatbot is not able to understand, then they give the number so that you can talk to this person directly. Or they also have this facility that give us the suitable time so that we can call you and clear your doubts. So chatbot is really important. Nowadays, the technology has become like king. It can take, take care of any, you know, then you have to nurture relationship with email marketing ho gaya. then incorporate proactive retention method that is important we know when a customer's subscription is about to expire kya karoge? will you let it expire no you can either sit back and hope they will remember to renew it no aap thodi aise karoge. you are into marketing you will reach out to the customer and remind them that the day is over now you have to renew that will that can even go for your car insurance policy that can even go for anything services also if you are really into customer service you will remind your customer that your policy is going to expire and we are ready to help you out with that okay you can even stand along a corporate gift as a friendly reminder in case the person is not interested in uh, renewing it so what you will do you'll send this customer no what you will do you will part very beautifully so that first customer again think of you before leaving send them a you know gift okay even if you are not interested this is our parting gift with for you usko bhi lagega ki are main to ja raha hu and these people are so good i should not go now all right then automated ho gaya automate your customer communication ho gaya then strategy number 9 is make tracking detailed customer data a priority what is their past purchases what are their browsing habits birthdays and anniversaries i've already told you engagement with your brand is also important okay this is easier to pull off when you know using right data management platform next is track and analyze your relationship management campaign not every method is worth adding to a relationship management strategy and uh, while it is good to test different options, you want to ensure your tactics are actually working or not, right? To ensure this, what you will do? You need to use tracking tools to determine whether um, specific metrics are improving, declining, or they are stagnant, or they're not doing anything, okay? Some of the metrics that you will be uh, using is like customer lifetime value, CLV जो मैंने बताया, conversion rate कितना है, referral conversion कितना होता है उस customer का अगर वो referral भेज रहा है, okay? Is he sending referral just like uh, uh, just to get your attention so that he can get benefit or is the, are these are real referral who who are also getting converted into customers, okay? Strength of your network, ठीक है? Website metrics like traffic कितना है उसका and then customer support team matrix kya hai duration of call kaisa hai follow up kaisa hai onboarding success kitna hai so all these things are very important whatever method you are using within your campaign be sure you are tracking the right matrix to determine your success okay now there are certain challenges also there are certain challenges also which are rel related to relationship ma marketing okay so to prepare you here uh, you know i there are certain roadblocks that you may have to overcome that is adopting omni-channel method if you don't have the staff or tool to do so 
then responding to customers questions and concerns quickly it's important then personalizing content and campaign based on data trying to rekindle interest from an old customer sometimes you have lost them but you want to rekindle it okay you want to again start it getting company wide adoption dealing with the complex software so best pro practices is focus on the need of your customer see le dekar baat kahan pe aati hai you have to always take care of your customer what is their need keep that thing that is a bottom line listen to your feed customers feedback be available to your customers term be authentic be informative add a personal touch to your customers offer ongoing support to the customers show customers that you appreciate them even if they are not buying your product you have to appreciate the customers theek hai congratulate them for uh, you know reaching out to you if they buy your product again congratulate them congratulate them on when your company does it well if your company is listed in the fortune 500 congratulate your customer tell them it is because of them that you have reached there welcome new customers on board okay encourage the existing customers to renew their plan diffusing tough situations with unhappy customers if the, some customer is unhappy never get into an argument with that customers and never argue in front of other customers also because they will also start feeling ki this person is not satisfied i don't know how they are going to deal with my problem in case i have a problem in future they should if there are some onlookers to the arguments that you are having with the customers try to maintain a best posture available be polite tell them yes we are ready to listen to you take them uh, to a meeting room talk to them nicely never shout at them because that is what relationship is you will have to bend down to keep your customer because that is not the only customer that you are having there are so many others who are looking at you all right so these are the things that you will take care isn't it all right so that's all about uh, today's uh, relationship marketing i'm very sorry and apologetic that my slides were not visible to you and i had to take the lecture like this hmm and uh, how i'm going to deal with this i'm going to send the pdfs so that you will be able to see okay all right okay ma'am yeah